6.7 Properties of Quadrilaterals Start off with a few definitions. A polygon. A polygon is simply a shape formed by three or more points joined by three or more straight lines. So let's throw some examples of a polygon. A triangle. Three points, three straight lines, polygon. square or diamond polygon five sided six sided they're all polygons convex polygon a convex polygon is a polygon in which all interior angles are less than 180 so let's look at our triangle that angle is less than 180. That angle is less than 180. That angle is less than 180. So this is a convex polygon. A concave polygon is one in which one or more interior angle is greater than 180. 180 is a straight line. 180 degrees. So it has to be greater. So let's try drawing that. This angle here is more than 180, so it is a concave polygon. Now let's look at a special type of polygon, a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four straight sides and four vertices. Quad means four. In order for this to be a quadrilateral, the sides are joined in a closed path which means they are not open. That is not a quadrilateral. They are not closed. That is a quadrilateral. They are closed. The interior angles, all four of these, must add up to 360. We already saw in a triangle they add up to 180. Now in a quadrilateral, they add up to 360. And the four corners must lie on the same plane. Basically, we have a two-dimensional object. The second we try to go 3D, we're no longer dealing with a quadrilateral. Let's take a look at an example on how we can use these properties. So example one, Kelsey told Andrew that the exterior angles, interesting, of a quadrilateral have the same sum. Andrew didn't believe her. How can we prove it? So the first thing we're going to do is draw a quadrilateral, four-sided, closed shape. And we're going to compare this closed shape to our square. So we know that the interior angles must add up to 360. So let's just throw on some angles here. This is 85 interior. We'll call this 150. We'll call this 50 and this 75. Now if these are interior angles, if I was to extend my line, this would be the interior, this would be the exterior. This straight line is 180 degrees. So if this is 75, this is 105. Now we're going to extend this line and say that if this is 85, this must be 95. Then let's extend this line. If this is 150, the exterior must be 30. And finally, we'll extend this line. 
and we'll say that if this is 50, this must be 130. So we're arguing here that the sum of the exterior angles, so 95 plus 30 plus 130 plus 105. We add these together and we get 360 degrees. So the sum of our exterior angles was 360. Let's go to our square. We know that the interior angles of a square are all 90. Again, let's begin to get some exterior angles. I'll extend this line. If this is 90, this must be 90. I'll extend this line. If this is 90, this must be 90. I'll extend this line. 90 and 90. And I'll extend this line. 90 and 90. So in this object, I've got 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90. And of course, we can add these in our head to get 360 degrees. So the exterior angle on both of our objects was 360. So we can say that the exterior angles of any quadrilateral, when you add them up, they are the same.